So Karen Thrussell, the uh, the Eminence Grise of Poldark, um, you're, you're you're saying goodbye to the show. You're 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 nearly finished, or you finished? No, we have. Um, it's Tuesday today, isn't it? So we finished filming on Friday, which is um, really heartbreaking. We had a wrap party last Friday because we were supposed to finish filming then, but uh, we've had to carry on and do more stuff, uh, which is actually nice for me because it just means that we're all together for a little bit longer. But yeah, it's um, it's coming to an end on Friday and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I'm really sad. Um, what we've done is we got to the end of book seven at the end of series four, and um, rather than jump 10 years and uh, age everybody up, we, um, Debbie thought, and we all thought it would be a really good idea to try and bridge the gap between the next books, because there are actually five more books that we could do possibly in the future, maybe. Um, but uh, at the moment we decided that it was better to try and fill in these years. And as a fan of Poldark and somebody who read all the books when I was younger, I, um, I always wanted to know what happened in those sort of 11 years um, that are missing. And um, it's, in, it's an exciting time because we know in the later books that um, Ross's career path takes a, a different path. And uh, that's what Debbie's sort of trying to address in the filling in these years. I mean, it probably covers a span of about a year and a half that we're covering in series five. And where, 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 does, it, where does the series leave Ross and Demelza? Well, I can't really give anything away, but uh, they have their ups and downs, of course. As per usual. And looking back over the whole series, and now you've wrapped uh, on, the, on the last series, what's your what's been your favorite moment in pulled up on on or off screen um well the filming's always been very sort of rigorous but we've been working with such professional um people i mean the actors have been really great so that that hasn't been too bad but actually getting to know everybody and getting to know all of them and their personalities has been really great and i, I actually think i've made some really good friends on this um Debbie is absolutely wonderful. I just want to hang out with her all the time. Aidan and Anna, gorgeous people. Jack, Luke, Heather, they're all, you just, we've become like a family and it's it's been really lovely to get to know those people and feel part of a big pulled up family. So for me, it's been a really life changing experience. And this won't be the end of the books because as you said earlier, um, there will be, Pulled out the next generation books, um, still, still to be potentially adapted. Even if um, the Aiden Turner might have to age up somewhat, um, w would you want to do those books? And would it, would they have to have a new cast playing the playing the uh, the children? Well, I mean, at the at the moment, the children are about sort of you know eight and ten and things. So yeah, we'd have to have new children. But I think um, if we did go on and do a Pulled Out Six, which I think lots of us would like to do, but it wouldn't be for a few years yet. Um, you know, Ross would be in his 40s. I mean, that's that's possibly okay. Uh, we, I think we would probably still focus a bit on Ross and Demelza because we all love them so much. The books are really great, the, the last five books. I think, for me, it would be a real honour to actually finish them because the 1970s series didn't finish them. They stopped where we're stopping now. And um, as a reader, um, not that I didn't see the 70s series, but um, as a reader of the books, I always would have loved to have got to the end.